Hello folks, this is Dan over at Homes at Center Hill Lake TN and we're doing a series of videos about SIP panels, structural insulated panels. And these things are not only very well insulated, but they're also very strong. So I was talking to my friend uh, up in Chicago, uh, Chris Donatelli, who is a luxury home builder up there and does a lot of work around Lake Geneva. And so I encourage him to come on down you know, spend the weekend down here on the lake with us and, and take a day and go with me up to uh, Eco Panels and um, take a look and ask a lot of questions with, from the uh, experts up there and really get in some good conversation about the benefits of, uh, of SIP panels and their use and be able to talk real construction builder type talk about cost and the uh, flexibility of this product and so what we did is we went on up there and just kind of let him loose now remember a lot of this stuff we couldn't film because it is trademark and uh in the, in the production area i'm here today with josh beasley chris good to meet you you too from eco panels of tennessee and uh, I really look forward to walking through with you because I watched the videos and I've got a lot of questions for you. We got answers. Hopefully they're this, this, you know, I made, I made this trip to, to come down here and see this because I really wanted to see it firsthand. And uh, I, I, you know, my initial impression of the system is that you guys have some real advantages and I want to see that with my own eyes today. Listen, we're excited about what we do here because we think it's it's kind of revolutionary in building science and it, it's a different system and it will help customers um, really improve their lives it's going to save them money every month on their electric bills they can use that money to do something else that is more fun than paying the local electric company so we're really excited for you to be here because uh, it, it's just humbling for us so i really look forward to showing you around let's go let's do it now we weren't allowed to video a lot in the production room because of all the uh, patented processes that they have. But we'll take a little short glimpse of what the, the initial start is and then we'll talk a lot more about all the products out into the uh, uh, assembly rooms. So what are we looking at here? Yep, so here Joey is taking the aluminum rail. This rail forms the tongue and groove profile so when the foam sets up inside this box, imagine that if this has a top on it, we spray the foam inside. That foam expands throughout all this, take, pushes all the air out, and we've got structural foam in place. Foam wraps around these cam locks, and then once the process is done, we remove these plates. The cam locks stay in place because they're locked in by the foam. And we've got that tongue and groove profile, and, uh, and it's ready to be built. So on the other side is the other cam lock for the panel that will be adjoining it and connecting. So every time you see one of these, the next panel over is going to have another cam lock that lines up. And that cam really is just a hook that reaches out. It'll reach out and grab that and pull it in a little bit. So when it pulls in, it just connects that wall all of the secures it in place. We're now in the assembly and shipping area of the plant and Josh and Chris are going to talk in detail about zip panels. So a couple things, I, I, we're going to talk about a corner you're going to explain to me. This is kind of the secret sauce of your system it based is, on what you yeah. said. Yeah. But there's a couple things as a carpenter that I noticed fit and finish wise. Sure. Uh, one's just uh, a little bit of a concern that has nothing to do with the panel. The second would be a compliment on precision of your cuts here. Yeah. So what I'm looking at, this outside corner, and I'm looking at the cut that's on there, it's right on the money. Yep. And one of the things that could be a variable in the field, depending on who makes the cut, is the quality of those cuts. Sure. And in the building process, I try to eliminate those variables wherever possible, and I'm just looking at this, and I'm noticing that you know you have precision millwork yep. with this panel, which, which I really appreciate. The second thing, we just talked a little bit about the insulation, yeah. and this is, again, this isn't your product, but this is, uh, the, the zip sheathing is known to be a very good product in yes. the industry. 
So what I'm going to say has nothing to do with the product itself. Sure. It's more of when the nails are overdriven. And they almost always are. They're, you're going to have some of this on the house. Yeah. And they're overdriven and they don't go back and they don't seal them properly. Yeah. Right. But again, just I know you wouldn't advocate not sealing them. You, mm -hmm. you want everything to be sealed once it's all done. Yes. But let's just say that got missed with this dense closed cell foam. There's probably little chance that that's going to work its way in anyway. You've got four in this corner. You've got four and a half inches of vapor barrier, also serving as insulation right behind this zip sheet. Right. So where you wouldn't have that in in a typical home, even though yes, you've got some over nailing that those nails go deeper into that up into this zip than really they should. Uh, it's almost impossible. It's one of the issues that zip has, right? It's almost impossible to make those nail heads stop every time exactly where they're supposed to be. And so you're supposed to come back and finish these out. Tape them, there's um, other substances to put over that. And, right? and the guys that I know that are following the best practices, they all do that. Yep. But I see a lot of job sites where they don't. Yep, absolutely. And, uh, well, tape's not put on the way it's supposed to be. Right. You, you introduce human error into it. That's just part of it, right? So you're always trying to mitigate some of that stuff. The great thing is, even though you may have some of these instances, you've still got a vapor barrier built into our phone. But I, th I think you hit it on the head because you used the word mitigate, yeah. and I like that word, because the more we could mitigate some of these things that none of us could present, prevent 100%, Sorry. I think the, the, the healthier the building's going to be. Well, it's, it's having the understanding, the knowledge, and caring enough to see this and say, you know what, we got to do something with it. Right? Yeah. Something's got to happen right there. And it's not that there's anything wrong with this, it's just part of the process. But every step of the process takes care. And if you'll take the time to do that, then you're just, you're helping your customer down the road. Got it. So now, the secret yeah. sauce. Yeah. Tell me so, about the corner. You've been, you've been telling me about these corners and how they're proprietary. <laughs> and so we are the only SIP manufacturer that does uh, solid corner systems. Okay. And what I mean by solid corner is this is, and it's, we picked this small one so I could spin it around a little bit, right? So this is a complete corner. Other panels are going to tie into this. But when you go to set this on the job site, you're setting this on the corner. That foam is wrapping solid around this. Um, it just makes for an incredibly strong house. So if you think about, I mean, you're a builder, you understand how wind forces and different things push. So if you can imagine the wind pushing against this corner, weak spots in a house are often around doors and windows and corners, right? A, a two by four framed house is rigid and that weak point oftentimes is in a corner. You get pressure and wind pushing against this. This solid corner, that foam wrapping around that, is able to take those forces and transfer them down the length of this adjacent wall. And suddenly you just have a much stronger force that will stand wind, different forces in that, in that way. So, uh, yeah, it just makes for an incredibly strong house. The other thing that happens a lot of times with in building is that this corner gets framed up in such a way in traditional construction where you can't insulate it. Or the insulation is crushed down to a, an inch worth of insulation built into this. And we're taking our, our solid foam and it's filling that corner all the way through and you're not getting that thermal bridging. Honestly, I was going to bring that up, and yeah. I'm glad you brought it up because as a framer who's basically used uh, corners that consisted of three studs, corners that consisted of California corners, yeah. and all those modifications are a blend of trying to get strength, sure. you're trying to make sure that you don't have an insulation void. Yeah. So what you probably can't see is that this insulation, this structural insulation, wraps all the way around, and I, that stuff is hard. I mean, it's strong. So, so basically, even without the plywood on there, you've got a pretty stable structural corner, yep. but you've totally eliminated the challenge that comes along with how to frame it yep. and not getting the air leakage through the areas that most often leak. Yes, that's right. And when you're, you're out on the job site, you, uh, you set this panel as one unit and you 
turn the corner and you're ready to shoot off in the other direction. Oh, you're ready that, to go. That's really impressive as someone who's framed hundreds of houses yeah. and you know over the years going from different techniques to accommodate everything from fiberglass insulation, which mm -hmm. was really the only game in town when I started, yep. to some of the, the new products that are out there today that are used in the high performance world. Sure. But this covers all bases. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It really does. Okay, this concludes segment one of building with SIP panels. And uh, we just think that uh, building with SIP panels is the future. Uh, it produces a stronger, more efficient home to, to live in. It's easier to build. And uh, we want to thank Josh from Eco Panels. Uh, and uh, you're going to see him again, and along with Chris from Donatelli Builders up in Chicago. And they're going to go through um, the, the way that the panels are assembled and how the electrical uh, conduit and boxes and everything are put into the panels before they even ship to the, to the um, building site. So if you have any questions, give us a call, 615-397-0406. And don't forget, we are Rural Building Consultants, and we'll be glad to uh, work with you on helping you select a piece of property, uh, whether it be around Center Hill Lake or anywhere else out in a rural environment. Thank you.